my brother. And after that? It's been a long time since I've had a choice. Let me live with that for a moment. Over there. We can take this way back to the camp. I can help with the vines. Now embed your blades into the glowing vines and light it. Your brother seemed open to your return. Oh, I'm sure he'd love nothing more than for everything to go back to how it was. Leaving the responsibilities of leadership to me. in my regards. You use your anger effectively. Well, you learn to use what you have. It's not as though I want to be angry with Freyr. 
He's my brother. He was the most important person in the world to me. These plants are the same as those we saw earlier. Frost should make quick work of their poison. <laughs> Watch out, those are wisps. Powerful manifestations of runic magic. home again after all that's happened Skull and Hadi are in Vanaheim? We learned the Giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look. The sunlight wakes the sleeping roots. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? Beautiful, no? A far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. The Eastern Migration. It's just as I remember it. At least the whole realm hasn't fallen to predators and occupiers. I guess there's still something to be fought for here. Something to defend even after so much damage has been done. Maybe that goes for Freyr, too.
Kratos, I see something. You won't be able to damage it without destroying the mother. It's a large, bulbous thing. You can't miss it. But giants definitely crafted it. There's two wolves represented here. Perhaps a connection to our friends in the sky. A mystery for another time. Go! <laughs> 
Incoming Vibrox back here! Enemies to your left! So much has happened since I last saw Freyr. I'm not even sure where to begin. What do you want from him? An apology would be a start. I want to forgive him. I'd like to think he's changed. He's all I have left now. Did you ever apologize to Deimos? It is difficult to seek forgiveness when you feel unworthy. Now how to get across? <laughs> My sigil arrow should be able to carry the fire across the river to reach the bramble. a spouse to remember fondly.
Carmer Petrias Gardason. Rigi Fetai Rocky. All my former spouse taught me was that there's no limit to the depth to which a soul can sink into darkness. Tricked me into marriage to spare my home and took my home just the same. Scattered my people to the wind. Maybe it's time somebody drew the line. Maybe it's time someone makes Groa's prophecy come true. I will not wish for war, Freya. War is a terrible thing, Kratos. But some things are even worse. You know, if Atreus rushes to Ragnarok, you may not be able to stop him. I will. And if you fail? I have prepared him to survive without me, if he must. <laughs> Watch for the plants. They like me, but strangers not so much. I see that. <clears throat> So what's next for you, if not preparing for war? I do not know, but I will take no chances with Atreus. Well, you may want to think fast, unless you want someone to make that choice for you. Ready? As I ever will be. at last yes uh let's celebrate you reclaim the throne we'll rebuild me and you against the world huh just like the old days i'm not staying 
don't understand. You're here. Maybe together we can take back what's ours. I only just got back what's mine. I still have work to do. You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility. One you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it, one you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. <sighs> we lost everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported no matter how selfish his choices. <sighs> I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me when I needed you the most. Freya, please. I thought you were dead. I've had to live lifetimes. Those last awful words I said to you. Have any idea what that's like? Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. Oh, Freya. I mourned you. missed you so much. And I you in vain. But I won't bind myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help, though. And I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, just... Do what you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. Not you. Got a few things to square with y'all. First is you collecting your spare heads. Second is that sigil magic I smell on your bow. Reckon that's an idea I'll steal. How's about I set you up with some sonic mojo? Call it a trade. Very well. Third of all, even you ain't staying here. Bears mentioning that Sindri and I find ourselves running a flop house for unemployed gods. If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, Maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pals here. That's kind of you, Brock. I may do just that. Well, all right, then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. Well, brother, care to meet our new allies? You gonna lurk all day, or we gonna do something? What is it? 
Yeah, I spent a lot of time tinkering up and down the River Delta. Once Owen's army came to town, I lit out of there faster than a tassel worm with its bottom ablaze. I was so frazzled, I accidentally left behind a few irreplaceables. What irreplaceables? Well, just one, really. An orb. I'd be mighty grateful if you would find it. What is it? And if you come across any of my old, beautifully rusted armor pieces, I'll use the scrap to whip up something specially suited just for you. What is the orb? Just bring it back here and you'll make me happy as a sunbeam. Oh, and don't forget to keep an eye out for my old armor. I'll fix it up for you. Free charge! Mm. What sort of orb do you imagine we're looking for, brother? I do not know. May I ask, how did a traveler come to follow my brother? I was a Roman when he found me. The truth I pledged my life to, it was a lie. Lord Freyr put what was left of me back together. Give me something real to believe in. That's Freyr, the Lord of the Second. He saved me. Gave me a family. A purpose. Thank you. He's lucky to have you. Tell me about the camp doll. Need something special? And Lady Freya? Big man, and now for the goddess. Make up your mind? No refunds. Should we ask him? Don't be rude. What's rude about asking for help? Big Veer, my love. Focus on your work. You need to weave those tighter.
looking for something? We can head out the way we came. Reminds me of a Vanaheim song I heard long ago. Done exploring, Kratos. I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Dare I hope this alliance has some staying power after all? It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable. But you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word. This lock is different from others you might know. You'll need an enchantment on your chisel to use it. Mm. 
Runa. Go ahead. Carve the letter. Suna. It's an incantation. I'll su na. The elves in Freyr's camp mentioned a gate like this in Alfheim. They kept on about some sacred light elf sanctum out past the barrens. A trip to Alfheim. Well, we can decide at the gateway. This boat should get us there if we can clear those vines. Remember what to do? fallen log in the river. It has something on it I don't recognize. So it's true. Tears really alive? Aye. Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now. But he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard to help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. Well, if you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alfheim's desert. If you want to continue exploring, we'll need to remove that log in the river. Before you see the lad again, might we discuss an approach? He will tell me where he has been. That is my approach. Ah, classic Spartan diplomacy. Wait. Did you say Odin invited him to Asgard, and then he disappeared for two days? Aye. But surely the lad's got more sense than to- Don't underestimate Odin's powers of persuasion. He filled my son's head with lies. Why wouldn't he do the same with yours? Hmm. Sucker, he owes me one. Thank me now and eternally. Well, looky there. Glad you can make the trip, your goddessness. 
I put your sigil magic on the young turd's bow. But then he and Sindri got into it over something. Mm, I trust. Well, come on then. Hey, Tyr! Wake up! You got company. Now, why don't you just make yourself at home in Sindri's so called study over yonder? You sure he won't mind? Mind? You better screw his head back on. And I mean tightly. So you're back. Are you ready to answer me? About what? Where did you go? Who did you see? Was it Odin? What? Is that what you think? Do you deny it? <laughs> answer me! Did you go to Asgard? No! Of course not! But so what if I did? It's my future, it's my life. You are my son. Then why don't you trust me? If you want me to trust you, then tell me the truth. The truth is you're being a complete asshole. Laddie, you know that's no way to change a man's mind. He doesn't have any faith in me. It's fine if he keeps secrets. It's fine if mom did. It is not fine. Her secrets are hard to reach step of this path. Oh, okay. So you don't believe in her anymore either? This is not about your mother. What you have done is lie. Wonder where I learned that. That's quite enough. Since when do you always take his side? Since he became the one making sense. Look, I was only thinking about going to Odin. But I swear it's for a good reason. There is no good reason to go to Odin. He'll only cloud your mind. But I'd be going for us. I, I gotta stop something bad from happening. Something bad did happen. Look at me. At Freya. At Tia. Odin did this to us. What's well, got everyone caterwauling all of a sudden? Atreus wants to go to Asgard. Asgard? Get kicked in the head or something? Great. I guess everybody's against me now. You must choose who you're going to be. Are you going to continue to lie and keep things from me? Or are you my son? Choose? I never get to choose. Just leave me alone. Listen. Let go of me. Listen. Say, let go. What the fuck? Atreus. It's Sindri. Just, just try to keep control. Something out here doesn't want to kill me. <laughs> Just need someplace warm. Then we can figure out where to go next. 
Uh, that doesn't look good. What is this thing? Some kind of white? More ravens. You trying to tell me something? First, he thinks I've been to Asgard. Then, flying. Ah! I'm trying to save your life, you big jerk! Gotta get out of the cold. Oh, my God. 
I'd find shelter and then what? Where could I go? If I go to Asgard, following the prophecy where Father ends up dead, if I stay locked up at home, there's nothing I can do to stop it. I guess in Asgard, I could at least keep an eye on Odin. You spy. Find out his plan. Get control of this. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't go to Asgard. Wait, are those red leaves? Freya's house. Oh, no. Charlie? No. Charlie. Please. Please. Charlie. to let me into that house. Think you can do that? Come on, Charlie. You have to do this. I... I can't... help if you don't... Emily! Emily! Buddy, I know. It's cold in here. Freya hasn't been checking on you? All right. Too busy hunting us down. Come on. Let's get you warmed up. Should be able to make a fire from all this mess. Wow. It's beautiful. Never seen anything like this around here before. From her home in Vanaheim? She must have really missed it. I can't believe she never came back to check on her house. To check on you. That's not an excuse. He's here for me. I'll be okay. I think. Okay. I'm ready. Take me to him.
Should have learned to swim before Midgard froze over. Hello? I'm here. Odin? Bert, is this Asgard? Hey, wait up! The wall! This is Asgard! Hold on! I'm coming! Oh! You don't seem friendly. Let me around though. craziest thing I've ever done. But if that's what it takes to change father's fate. What am I gonna say to Odin? Uh, hi. I came to be your apprentice, I guess. But it doesn't mean I, like, serve you now. Not in a forceful <laughs> prophecy kind of way. the other side of that wall. Wait, how do I get past the wall? I never came up with a mere story about Rainford. The stonemason's son built a flaw into it. He only told Frey about it, and I didn't think to ask. Hold on, 
So is Freya at the house. Did she move in with us? You know what? Focus, Loki. Hmm. Father would just burn this away with his blade. But what can I do? Yoffa! Huh. Maybe that sigil magic on my boat can help. What did Brock say? If I could just get that fire to spread to the bramble... go. Wait, that sounds like people. Need help? You, uh, you look a little lost. Oh, uh, I'm just getting my bangs. Well, there's nothing to see this way except the big wall. Is there a gate to go through? <sighs> nope. Not unless you're an Aesir god, but I guess you'd know that if you were an Aesir god. Me? No. I'm from Midgard. What? No shit. Me too. I'm skilled here. Lucky. Hang on. Are you all from Midgard? <laughs> yep. The, uh, All Father saved us from the desolation. Gave us a safe place to settle, but we don't go in there. Can't get into the city unless you know magic. You, you don't know magic, do you? A little bit, yeah. What? No shit. Y can you walk through walls? Not yet. Couldn't I just climb over it? <laughs> that? Without any gear? Uh, no. Aren't you afraid of dying? Well, yeah. I mean, look at that. But, Odin awaits. Wait, you know the Allfather? I'm sort of his apprentice. No shit! What is he teaching you? I'm not sure. Well, how many other students? I don't know. How long you stayed? You don't know. Okay. I'm gonna go climb that wall now. Well, this I gotta see. You need help? I appreciate it, but I gotta go alone. Oh, I wasn't gonna climb with you. I may owe Odin my life, but I don't owe him my death. Not that I think you're gonna fall. Forget I said anything. <sighs> Is that Hugin? Is Hugin your guy? Who? Odin's Raven. You know, from Hugin and Moonin. He's a pretty good guy. Though, not sure he'll know too much about climbing. <sighs> well, Loki, you seem like a good guy. Really hope I am not about to watch you die. Thanks. Me too. <gasps> uh, you know not to look down, right? I like looking down. Shows me how much progress I've made. Wow. Yeah, that's great. Can I use that? I mean, a little ironic last words, but... What was that? Nothing. Th nothing. Hey, you're doing great. <sighs> You can do it, Loki! 
Thanks, Gilder. Hope you're right. Okay, I can do this. This is fine. Just keep climbing. And now where? Hey, Hoogan. Don't suppose you'd like to pass the time by telling a story, would ya? Yeah, that's what I thought you'd say. Why? Up here? Yeah, I'm coming. Let's get that chain down. Jump! I'm totally fine looking down. I wonder why I can't hear your thoughts. Sure seemed like Odin could. That was you in our cabin, right? You and your brother, I guess? Taking that for a yes. Breathe, and... Ah! Yes! I bet I'm past the worst of it now. Or not. Uh, wanna just let me pass through? No? Have it your way. Jump! I get it. Whoa. 
okay. These are connected. Yeah, that makes sense. I think. Gotta do both sides, though. Here we go. Made it. Ah! Woke up more wind. I'm doing what I can. Huh. Don't see any more shortcuts. Just gotta climb a little further. Maybe a lot further. But I've come this far. Hey, Hugin. How about I tell you a story? Once, there was a giant named Loki, who thought it'd be a good idea to accept Odin's invitation to Asgard. So, Odin tested Loki, expecting him to climb, by himself, all the way up Reimther's wall. So, what did Loki do? Ah! So what did Loki do? He kept climbing. He just kept climbing. His arms hurt. His fingers went numb. It got hard to breathe. But Loki kept climbing. One foothold at a time. All the way to the top. Nowhere to go but up. Okay, okay. Keep going. Come on. Can't stop now. Ah! Come on. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Almost there. Hello. Uh, hi. So, what part of the enormous wall made you think, oh, visitors must be welcome? I was sent for, actually, by Odin. The Allfather sent for you. <laughs> Great. Then why are you out there? 
and not in here. Why don't we ask them together? Hmm. Ah! Are you finished? Now, what could Odin, All Father, King of the Aesir, possibly want with the likes of you? That's between me and Odin. You don't even know, do you? <laughs> Think you could pull me up, or... No, I don't think I will. I think maybe I'll drop you. No, 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 no. Yes, I'm Stop. going to drop you. Goodbye. Stop. Where are... Think how mad the Allfather's gonna be when, when he finds out you killed his guest. Loki of the Jotnar. <laughs> the Jotnar. Enemy of my people. I am not your enemy. I will be the judge of that. This way, Loki of the Jotnar. Wait, is that Gjallarhorn? Are you Hondo? Obviously. Now feel free to drink in the splendor of Asgard. This is a rare sight for outsiders. Especially giants. Yes. Why not steal anything that is not nailed down? That is sure to impress your hosts. Just ask your questions already. How do you know I had questions? It is my job. Next question. What is your job? I protect the realm I love from trouble. And you think I'm trouble? You just met me. And I can already see you are eager to prove yourself. Way too eager. Probably due to an overshadowing father figure you can never live up to. Good guess. I would also guess that you are... disrespectful. Entitled and impulsive. You don't know me at all. I help people. Oh! You are here to help people. Hmm. No. No. You are here to help yourself. To manipulate and lie to whoever you have to to get what you want. I know you're young. Your voice probably dropped while you were climbing the wall, but... <laughs> What a twisted little soul you have. <laughs> you are chaos in a spiffy archer suit. I watch your mouth move and I see cities burning. Nothing good is going to come from you being in Asgard. That said, if you are here to aid the Allfather and have no treacherous intent, I guess that makes us allies. Gultopper. Who loves me the most? Who loves me the most? Wow, that's almost as impressive as Balder taming a dragon. Balder had the luxury of not caring how badly he got burnt. I outthink them. Dominate them fair and square. <sighs> Are these all Aesir gods? What? You think all Aesir are gods? But Skilder told me that oh, only... Oh, well, if Skilder told you, clearly whoever that is must be the authority on Aesir gods, not the Aesir god you are currently talking to. You literally know nothing of our culture, do you? I know lots of things. I know a giant built that wall. A giant 
Built the wall that keeps out the giants. Prainther, son of Thalmor. I know the whole story. Really? I truly cannot wait for you to regale me with the revisionist tales of Asgard's architectural history. Is that Odin's palace? Palace? Do you think the Allfather needs to puff himself up like some mortal chieftain? I guess not. That is the Great Lodge, which the Allfather built with his own hands. I'm sorry if that is a letdown for you. Real power, you see, does not need to flaunt. It emerges when the time is right. Don't you agree? Ha! Hey! Whoa! Uh. Hey! Helmets! I brought you a practice gun. I thought we were going to own it! You see, the thing is, you do so I am not letting you anything. The old Ha! That is your big special move. Hilarious! Young boy! Oh, very nice! The move! Profoundly unimpressed. You should probably stay down. Great. <laughs> Knock it off. Like it or not, he's all father's guest. I thought I smelled something. Take one more step, you're not gonna like how this ends. Really? And how do you intend to stop me? Look into my eyes. You are a sick man. Loki, you made it. I am so honored. I, I see you've met Heimdall. He reads minds for me. The boy is false, our father. This young man, who is my guest, is covered in mud. Care to explain? He means to betray you. <gasps> is that true, Loki? You a little trickster? Uh... I'm just messing around. Of course he means to betray me, huh? Heimdall, why else would he come? I've given him no reason to trust me, not yet. But he's got some very big questions, and I have so many answers to give. What are you up to? Dismissed, go. Gladly. 
And you, clean yourself up. My mother. Oh, mother. Time to, will you just relax? Were you intending on killing me first thing? See? What, that's not good enough for you? Get out of here. <laughs> He's a lot, I know. Very perceptive, but sometimes he just forgets to think, you know? Hey, I got some places to be. So how'd your father take the news that you decided to accept my invitation? I don't think we should talk about my father. Not well, huh. <laughs> Can't blame him. Between my ex-wife and my disgruntled former employee, he's not exactly getting an unbiased view. But you, you're curious, open-minded. That's important. Reest, meest, carry on, pretend I'm not here. If I'm being honest with you, Loki, you're lucky my offer still stands after you went and sprung tear. But I suppose spending time with him is punishment enough, isn't it? <laughs> At least Mimir never lost his sense of humor. But look, it, that's all behind us now. I like to keep looking forward. Hey, hey, hey! I want them trained, not decapitated. Just keep it below the neck, all right? Is that really what you do when I'm not here? All is fine. Queen Gana. The Ain Huyar are ready for your blessings. That's why I'm here, isn't it? Hmm. Huh. Guess there's a new Valkyrie Queen. Great soldiers, these Ain Huyar. But they tend to come out of Valhalla a little foggy. I do what I can for them, help them remember who they were in life. That's important, don't you think? A sense of identity gives things meaning. Moon Thi Nafen Hrothgar. Moon Thi Nafen Form. Moon Thi Nafen Yana. Okay, next up. Ah, the books. Good. Those are for him. I understand you're an avid reader. These are just a few things from my personal collection. Uh, thanks. Jürgen, those better not be mushrooms I smell. Listen, I appreciate your offer, but I'm really not sure what you're expecting from me. Right now, you're just visiting, Loki. One step at a time. Steady there, Carl. But with all respect, you need to know. I came to study, not to serve. Another servant is the last thing I need. I need someone with drive, with curiosity. Someone will take initiative. That looks good. Is that braised? But why me? Is it because I'm half giant? Big deal. So's Thor. Erlen, try to stay awake for me. OK. But... Look, don't overthink it. I have a project I think you'll be interested in. A major learning opportunity. Or both of us. What about my family? My friends? I need to know nobody's gonna get hurt. Why would I hurt anybody? The truce is all I've been asking for from the start, if you recall. Look, you're here now. Stop worrying. It's all gonna be fine. Almost to your room. My room? Yep, just over here. Feel free to come and go. Take what you need, poke around as you please. You're not my prisoner. And more importantly, I'm not your father. All father, there's a situation that needs your attention. Sif, you missed welcoming our new house guest. Say hello to Loki. This is him? Here, in our home. How nice. My diplomat. Everything all right in New Midgard? The refugees are fine. The situation is with the dwarves. You know who is back. Yeah, it's always something. Put those books down. We got another stop to make. Uh, sure. Yeah. 
All right. I'm here. Where is he? He? Oh, he, uh, just over there. Oh, other. Sir? <gasps> ah. Chief, it's been too long. What's the issue now? No issue at all if you're trying to build volatile death traps. I approve these designs personally, and not all that recently, I might add. Did you just wake up with the urge to be a pain in my ass? Yeah. Who's the cut? You're training puck pockets. You know what, Berlin? You reek of cheap mead, and that is by far your most endearing characteristic. Now listen up. It's me, your entire economy, speaking. I want you to know that I have confidence in you. Confidence you can deliver me these machines as promised, on time, on budget, and, of course, safely. The dwarves have never let me down, and they're not about to start now. Right? Good. Okay, so I'm gonna let you catch your breath. When you're ready to get to work and start getting those answers, meet me in my study down the hall. Oh, and help yourself to a change of clothes.